The video message that the Princess of Wales sent out to indicate that she had been diagnosed with cancer was reportedly inspired by the emotional speech that the late Queen gave at the COVID ceremony. There are obvious references to Elizabeth Hughes, We Will Meet Again television speech that was broadcast when the country was under lockdown. Observers, after analyzing both speeches, have come to the conclusion that Kate, who is 42 years old, may have been influenced by her grandmother-in-law. Over many years of public speaking, our late queen learned that what was expected of her was not a performance but a welcome, said Ingrid Seward, author of the biography of Elizabeth Yu, titled The Queen's Speech, which was published in 2015. She was able to perfect an unassuming friendliness that she was aware was necessary in order to convey her message efficiently. What we remember most about her speeches are not the great works of literature or the Bible, rather it is the straightforward misses that she delivered. Her most memorable moment occurred during the lockdown in April of 2020, which was only a few days before her 94th birthday. The Queen concluded her speech by saying, we will meet again, which was thought-provoking. Almost four years later, Kate was delivering her own speech in a manner that was quite similar to the one she had just delivered. In her speech, the Queen referred to the increasingly challenging time, while Kate spoke to the incredibly difficult couple of months. In her speech, Kate referred to everyone as facing this disease, and she emphasized that together we are tackling this disease. Although the statements were comparable, what stood out was the fact that they were both given from the heart and in a tone that was honest and straightforward. The directness and closeness of the two ladies, who were speaking directly into the camera, had a significant role in the overall impression. Kate talked to other people who were afflicted with cancer, while the queen addressed her subjects. Neither of them advised giving up hope. Ingrid continued by saying, the Queen assured us that she would be fine in the future, and Kate reassured us that she would be okay. They were of different generations and came from different backgrounds, yet both of them had the power to inspire others to believe that they could triumph over their challenges. Kate expressed how her workplace had brought her a great deal of happiness, and she expressed her want to return to it. According to the statement, she had been helped by the love, support, and kindness shown by so many. A statement made by the Queen was that better days will return, and we will be with our friends again. Neither of these ladies is a source of optimism. During the global lockdown, the Queen would like to extend her condolences to everyone in the country and the Commonwealth who is experiencing disruption, possible financial difficulties, and enormous change. This message is from the Princess of Wales to the many people all around the globe who are afflicted with cancer, who have lost someone to the disease, or who may just be terrified of the disease. Please do not give up hope or faith, Kate told her friend, you are not alone. A statement was made by the Queen, which said, I want to reassure you that if we remain united and resolute, then we will overcome it. Although the language may have been different, the messages that they conveyed were same. Have courage, don't lose up hope, it's going to be difficult, but everything will turn out well. We are going to be successful, and that success will be shared by each and every one of us. Kate was undoubtedly influenced by her late grandmother-in-law, and there's no mistake about it. In addition, none of the women loved speaking in front of an audience As or addressing Princess the Elizabeth, camera directly. The queen began her formal education at a young age and delivered her first speech when she was in her early 20s. Although Kate was a little bit older and a little bit smarter, it was still challenging. Her determination was clear. In the same way that the queen was thrilled by the reaction to her message, when she stood in front of the cameras at Windsor Castle at the age of 94 and proclaimed, Better days will return, Kate is thrilled by the reception to her talk. It is always the case. Phil Dampier, who is also a royal analyst and the author of the book What's in the Queen's Handbag, believes that Kate seemed to channel the late queen when she reassured her children and the country that she would be okay. It is his belief that the words and phrases together 
we will succeed, and better days will return, that were used in the speech that was delivered by the late queen encouraged confidence and increased spirit from the audience. Despite the fact that she was talking about a different subject, Kate was able to get across the same universal sentiments by stating you are not alone and for everyone. Every single word of Kate's speech was written by her herself, and she has learned everything she knows from the late queen, Phil remarked. She believed that concise remarks were remembered, and she possessed the amazing capacity to communicate more with less words. Her gift was limited to one or two lines. Even when she was speaking at state dinners and other formal events, she adhered to the golden rule that speeches should never last more than 12 minutes. She congratulated those who worked for the National Health Service, NHS, in her Will Me Again speech, while Kate lauded her own medical staff. While the Queen promised us that everything would be well for the nation, Kate made sure to let us know that she had comforted her children, and via them, she had guaranteed us that she would be oak as well. Similar to the Queen's message, it was one that was filled with hope and optimism. Phil said, the Queen makes reference to the efficacy of prayer and meditation, and Kate says that she will concentrate on the things that assist her in healing on all levels, in her mind, her body, and her spirit. In this manner, the message is expanded so that it is not just about cancer but also about life in general. And the Queen has always taken a holistic approach to health and happiness. Kate has said that she is thinking about other people who are battling cancer, and the Queen's message highlighted the fact that people have been supporting each other throughout the COVID process in order to come on the other side stronger and more unified. Both the length and the tone of the speeches are comparable, and they have the appropriate balance of worry, reality, and optimism. 23 million people in the United Kingdom watched the speech that the late Queen gave which was a tribute to the resoluteness of the British people during World War II, and was reminiscent of the beloved singer Vera Lynn. A number of people have praised it as one of the most memorable events of her reign. Phil said that Queen Elizabeth was so skilled at giving her Christmas addresses and other speeches that she became known as One Take Windsor. This means that she never need a second chance to complete her talks. You got the impression that Kate, who was sitting on a simple garden bench with spring daffodils in the background, also spoke from the heart and got it right the first time, you said.